Well, the latest Xbox rumor floating around the interweb is that Microsoft is trying to finalize deals with three different studios before E3 so they can take the stage and announce that their first party lineup is getting bigger and better. But of course, as we do in all these types of videos, we're going to take a look at the source, see if it's credible, talk about the three studios mentioned, and see if this is at all possible. What's going on guys? Randall Thor 19 the man with the million, back again with another video. Hope everyone is doing well. Now you might have seen some Xbox fans uh, make mention of this over the weekend, talk about these studios, even create images, which I have up on screen here with three blank spaces added underneath all the studios that Microsoft announced uh, that they purchased this past E3. And of course, any studio acquisition is big news, especially when you're trying to grow your first party like Xbox is. But of course, I always take everything with a grain of salt as you guys should too. I'll have everything linked below because, well, quite frankly, this rumor isn't really of the believable sort. And that's why I'm making this video because I wanted to put it out there and maybe squash it a little bit, you know, because I had about 25 people hit me up asking me, Rand, we need to know, is this true? Now, of course, uh, this rumor comes from 4chan. Yes, 4chan. Now, don't always necessarily dismiss rumors that come from 4chan. Recently, they had a leak regarding Borderlands 3 that was 100% spot on. So sometimes leaks actually do come true from 4chan. So initially, when I heard about it, I was like, man, I'm not really sure this could be true. But actually go into the link and it says that new report says Microsoft is apparently trying to finalize deals with three studios before E3. The studios are Azabo, Relic, and IO Interactive. And a letter of intent has already been sent to Microsoft by IO Interactive. Basically saying that IO Interactive is ready and willing to be bought out by Microsoft. Now that's a studio that I want because I love the Hitman series, they make quality games. But how likely is any of this and is it true? Now, here's the thing. It's 4chan, so already strike one on the credibility factor. Strike two, it says there's a new report, right? That he supposedly is gonna link, but there is no link and there is no report, so strike two. And honestly, all three of these studios have been mentioned before previously by Xbox fans or even quote unquote Xbox insiders about targets that Microsoft may be looking after. I mean, take Relic Entertainment, for example. They are currently working on Age of Empires 4 for Microsoft and the common thought is there that Microsoft wants a developer to continue the Age of Empires franchise and it would be easier for them to purchase Relic and have them make those RTSs rather than constantly uh, find a new one. You know, Relic also has made uh, Company of Heroes as well as the Warhammer 40,000 games. The problem with obtaining them is while well, they're owned by Sega. That's right, Sega wholly owns Relic. So if Microsoft were to somehow pull this off, they would have to buy them from Sega. It doesn't necessarily say that this isn't going to happen, just that it's been rumored for quite some time that Relic was on like the short list for it. And then take a studio like Azabo, who is getting ready to basically launch their first full game, uh, A Plague's Tale Innocence. And they've worked with Microsoft previously on a whole bunch of games. They worked on Rush, a Disney Pixar adventure, uh, Zoo Tycoon, Disneyland adventures. They did some work on Quantum Break, on ReCore. Uh, they basically have been a Microsoft support studio for a lot of different titles for a lot of different years. And A Plague's Tale, uh, which comes out next month, is kind of their first foray into seemingly the AAA business. Now, they have a deal with Focus Home Inter uh, Interactive for A Plague's Tale, and they just announced that they, you know, extended their partnership with um, Azabo going forward, a uh, Focus Home. So a lot of people think, well, this was a studio floated out there. It's possible. But then again, those type of dealer uh, partnerships really don't, um, wouldn't really impact it either way. Because take Obsidian. Obsidian had a deal with uh, the private division of 2K, who do the, those uh, smaller games uh, publishing deal. But that didn't stop Microsoft from coming in and buying Obsidian, you know, since they really wanted that studio and the price was right and they make excellent games. 
Similar situation here for Azabo. The fact that they have a relationship with Focus Home going forward wouldn't necessarily stop Microsoft from coming in and purchasing them to uh, make games for Xbox and the Xbox platform in the future. But well, just like with Relic, they've been rumored uh, by a whole bunch of different people to be, hey, Microsoft might be looking at it. And then of course you have the big one, IO Interactive. Uh, Square Enix a couple years ago basically cut ties with them. They let them use the Hitman franchise. They released Hitman 2, which apparently bombed all over the place, even though they, uh, you know, they had a new publisher with Warner Brothers. Uh, they're expanding into a new studio, and a lot of people are wondering, well, where they're gonna get their money from. Hitman's really doesn't seem to be uh, that big of a franchise anymore. And Cloberal, a Xbox insider, did come out, I think, late last year and say that IO Interactive was on the consideration list for Xbox. Now, if talks have progressed any further than that, who really knows? But what I'm saying here is that these three studios, none of them are really a surprise. They're more educated guesses by someone who browses the Reset Era forums or just kind of is in tune with what is going on at Xbox. These studios, these three studios always get brought up, but nobody really has any concrete information regarding if these three studios would be bought. So when people bring this stuff to me and they say, Rand, what do you think about all this? You know, my first instinct is always check the source. And honestly, it's 4chan. The guy says there's a new report, but a new report isn't linked. So right off the bat, it tells you it's bullshit, or at least this is bullshit. But of course, that doesn't necessarily mean that these two studios won't be acquired by Microsoft in the future. It's just one of those situations where I don't believe this report, but I can see Microsoft buying one of these studios and announcing it yet at E3. Now, personally, I want to see Microsoft go after IO Interactive. I love the Hitman games. They made Kane and Lynch. Uh, they're a quality developer, way better than Relic and Azabo. And I know some of you are probably like, Relic, Randall, they make some really good RTSs. And they do, but me personally, I don't really care about RTSs. So if they were to announce Relic, it would just be one of those moments where it's like, eh, I don't really care because I don't play RTS games and I'm not a big PC gamer and I don't care about Age of Empires. So Microsoft, buying Relic from Sega wouldn't really do anything for me because they make RTS games and I'm a selfish person. I wouldn't be playing that even if Microsoft published it on Xbox. It would just be like Halo Wars 2 where I play it but I don't really care. It wouldn't excite me. As Azabo, some of their earlier games are kind of kitty. We'll have to wait and see what A Plague's Tale is like. But then IO Interactive. Now that, that is a studio that would excite me even though they wouldn't be using Hitman more than likely with Xbox, they would be probably put on a new IP. But man, just thinking of all the different types of games that they could make for Xbox, you know, yeah, that does make me smile a little bit. That does make me say, you know, this, this, this acquisition would be damn good. But, hate to break it to you guys, this poster doesn't know nothing at 4chan. It's just one of those fake things to get people excited. So, as always, take all these things with a grain of salt. Don't believe everything you read. But at the same time, just keep in mind that one of these three studios might be possible. Or none of them are possible. It's just that this whole thing from 4chan isn't true. And I do honestly hope people stop sending me this stuff that are this fake i mean you know it's fake the guy says there's a new report but doesn't link the report come on people we got to be smarter than that we have to think with our brains sometimes so yeah it ain't true but that doesn't mean it couldn't be true in the future do i think microsoft will get one of these three studios i think you know what sure i think they'll get one and it'll be IO Interactive, just because that's the one I want. But not because of some stupid 4chan post. But anyways guys, that's the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. 
consider subscribing to the channel for more content. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Share it out on social media and hit that notification bell if you always want to be notified when I drop new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll see everybody in the next video. Later, guys.